My name is Linda Kamau. I'm 26 years old from Kenya and uh, I'm part of Akira Chicks. And uh, the other thing I do, I'm a software developer. I love programming. With a word from Half the Sky Movement, uh, we'll use it to run our next uh, training for Akira Chicks. So meaning more girls will benefit from the training program, trying to increase them to about 30 instead of 20, uh, giving them skills in, in IT from computer literacy, entrepreneurship, design, and also programming. The Creative Training Program is a program structured uh, to get more girls into technology through uh, trainings and training girls in skills such as computer literacy, programming, graphic design and also entrepreneurship. This uh, targets girls from the slums or from underprivileged backgrounds, people who can't afford a college education but they have an interest in IT. It's really important because the tech industry is more of a male-dominated industry and the, key, the goal and the aim for Accra is to just get more women into tech. We are very few. And so I think the reason is why I keep pushing to just get more women is just yeah, to stop feeling alone and also to show our girls that it's possible to make it to the IT industry as a woman. So that's really, really important. And also I think the fact that these girls are from the slum, some of, some of them after high school, they don't see beyond that. They just see staying at home or even getting married, having early marriages. With this kind of training, we see that you give them a way to sustain themselves financially because they either get jobs or they become entrepreneurs and also they improve the livelihoods in their community. Having them uh, trained in the training program, you see some of them become uh, either entrepreneurs, others get jobs, and through that they are able to increase, them, to improve the livelihoods of their own families, and with that also they are able to get back to their communities and help other people learn. Like as of now, uh, the last training program, we've seen girls who go back and train in a school that's nearby, train computer literacy to the kids who are there. So you see the community benefits because they also get educated because they, there's knowledge and skill transfer. First of all, with financial uh, help, like the Half the Sky Movement Award, because uh, we most of the times we run it from our own pockets, but at least this one we run it from um, awards such as the one from Half the Sky Movement. So if people can keep uh, contributing, and also even mentorship, like one-to-one uh, -one mentorship, online mentorship to the young girls who are undergoing the training program, because sometimes. Uh, we don't have everything to give to them and there's someone who has, let's say, a, a way to just get them in the let's say, inter, inter, entrepreneurship path. They can have a one-on-one uh, one or online uh, mentorship sessions. Yeah, and I think also generally just try to grow the industry, like focusing uh, technology as it's STEM in, for young ladies, because most of them run away from STEM-related careers. It was the best thing ever because I think at that time we actually I actually did not know how the next training program was going to run because we didn't have any funding and then the fact that now we didn't even have a space for ourselves and where we used to have space uh, that whole uh, contract uh, ended we never we no longer have space it was a bit hard because that would mean the training will not go on and we no longer have an, any other training for our project. so this grant has come at the award has come at the right time and so that means we can start our training program in July. Thank you.